Hi everyone, it's Roxanne. Welcome to the Friday meeting of Odyssey of Ascension chairing session. I think that's right. So here we go. And good morning to you all. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Osiphius. Some of you are familiar with the energy, some are not. For those of you who are not, welcome to my energy, which is truly, of course, your energy, because once again, we are all one. Choose that as a paradigm of acceptance of yourself, being the unity of one or not. Live in separation or unity. It is your choice, truly. But if you have the perspective we are all in this together from the oneness that we all are, I suggest the separation might be counterproductive. Imagine that. Hmm. All of the entities that are in this room, thank you. And all of the entities out there, thank you. For following your highest excitement vibration, for whatever reason you chose to be here, it is now and this is your reality. You are creating this for you, your ascension, yourself, your understanding. In the remembrance of the God, Creator, Source, One, All. Choose what you will. The paradigm, the paradigm of forgetfulness, the message we want to send. We've heard it before, hmm, but have you really grasped the paradigm of forgetfulness? Each and every one of you are repetating, pardon me, repeating or in reputation your reality through what is once again known. Hmm, there was a ascender that had a particular question, who was particularly scared, afraid, or separated himself from the unknown. So we would like to discuss that, if you choose. Thank you. In separation of the unknown, where does that leave you? In contemplation, in comprehension, let's all look a little deeper. The known is your experience of now, back. Is that not true? So the only thing that is left to understand is the unknown. Every moment is new, every moment is unknown. What you are doing to separate yourself from the unknown is relying, equating on the known. Your experience, your now, your, let's say, easily said, I think, is memory. For what are you doing? Judging the nows? Judging the experience that you've created in your own reality based on your experience, are you not? If your experience is something that resonates with you in forgetfulness, in other words, you forgot you're the God. So in forgetfulness, you remember. So let's see. Your experience of remembrance is sustaining. For the now is freedom. For remembrance, experience, past, known, is limitation. So there's a resonance, a vibration in here of judgment. Why? Why must you judge? It's okay. We love you because we understand that is a given belief. In other words, your cultural self, due to the experience you gave you as an individual. Let's look at that. Judgment. Observation of an idea, an interaction, leading to judgment or acceptance. Compassion. The judgment always, always, one, 
just as yourself. Two has a negative vibration, a friction among it, so to speak. So the judgment you give out for the experience that you are giving yourself in that moment is the knowledge that you are choosing to give yourself to expand your conscience, to go into the unknown. But the separation of the unknown through fear, through social conscious acceptance, through this can't be real because it doesn't fit. What does it not fit? There's only one thing. Think about it. Ponder it. If it doesn't fit, what doesn't it fit with? The known. Your direct experience. Your understanding of what reality, illusion, is. So take your known experience and judge yourself for it, then in observation realize that the experience was given to you not for judgment, sustaining the image because it doesn't fit my reality. That is the unknown that you are truly seeking. So instead of separating that unknown from what you truly are, because you are everything in your reality, instead of the separation, be joyous in the unknown. For adventurers, explorers, seekers of the unknown, expansion, remembrance of yourself as the Creator, God, is why you're here. Your ascension of yourself. If you choose to, hmm, let's say, get pissed off at yourself, and ask yourself this question, why did I come here? What is my purpose? All of those things that keep you limited, searching for a particular golden nugget of release. There is no golden nugget of release. There is only now. In the process of ascension, truly. So when you are trying to find something that gives you a sense of peace, realize the peace, the keys to the prison, the last piece of the puzzle is you and the expansion of yourself. Everything that comes into your reality is not a joke. It is not a fluke. It is not coincidence. It is not good or bad luck. It is ascension. Every moment is you choosing a reality to help you wake up. If you do not choose this as the paradigm, watch your stuckness, your stagnant, your isness of repetition continue until you push up daisies. Hmm. The limitation that you seek in security is your justification to yourself that it's okay not to expand your conscience because you're just fearful. Change is scary. I can't do that because if I do, I will lose my image, my accomplishments, my marriage, my material items that fill my empty heart for image. Let's look at polarity. Without judgment, hmm, what is there? Isness. So you do not have polarity if you choose not to judge. You have the isness of the reality that you are creating for yourself through the acceptance and the compassion you receive by what? Your natural self. From where? Your natural self. From who? your natural self. All of that is inherent in all of you. You are eternal love. Choose that perspective, that paradigm, that approach to life. The judgment of polarity only leading to one or the other is now disintegrated, is it not? Let's look at it like this. That's good, that's bad. Why does it have to be this or have to be that? Can it not be both transmuting into one, 
into the isness that it originally is, an experience to help you understand, remember who you are. If something is negative in you, in your reality you've chosen to give yourself, you can choose to, let's say, justify it. Based where? Where is the basis of justification coming from? The known, the past, history. Hmm? Remember, the experiences you have, history is wonderful. But without wisdom, it's just history, isn't it? So the moments of wisdom through your experience of expansion is the purpose of experience in and of itself. It is not to recall those experiences based on the, let's say, reality you are currently receiving, giving you a judgment of good or bad or up or down or left or right. In other words, third density polarity. Hmm? Understand that. You do not need to have a good or a bad. You have the isness of all. In the fourth density and up, polarity does not exist unless you choose it to exist. That is an option. You can exist in fourth density with a polarity of negative and positive. Fifth density and up, no, no, no. Why not? Because the understanding is understood that is no longer needed. The closer you get to the source, your point zero, your original entity self created in existence through the creator of all, polarity is diminished. You will not have an up or down. You will not have a good or bad. You will not have a right or wrong. There is no such thing. That is only space-time here in third density. Variance in the fourth density, fifth and up, does not exist. You do not choose it to exist. Again, you can experience it, but you will not choose it anymore. Because it is, once again, wisdom. When you understand wisdom, it is a knowing that you no longer need to choose to experience. So why choose something that you already have a knowing, a wisdom about? I dare say security. I dare say, I want to go back in that moment of I am, the I am of image. In other words, you got kudos, you got gratitude, you got some kind of ego, let's call it altered ego fulfillment that gave you an identity of sustaining the image. Did it not? So that experience that you're drawing upon, once again, is what? Image. Separation, fear of failure. Hmm. Because you worked so hard at what you did. Oh, I'm sorry, I have 20 years invested in this marriage. I'm going to make it work. Why? Because of your investment in it? How, be, how about this? It was what it was then, and it is what it is now. This is my isness. I accept it, my truth. This is what I'm vibrating. Condition your life according to what you choose as investment, hard work, the isness of what I was to maintain an image that I was expected to fulfill according to social conscious acceptance. If I throw that away, I will be once again nothing. Ah, I love nothing. Because out of no thing is the potential of everything. And when you are no thing, once again, you are everything. There is no other choice. Because when you choose no thing, you automatically be everything. Again, choose to be something. I'm a CEO. I'm a, hmm, let's say, Wall Street investor. Look at me, I have my shirt, I have my tie, I'm going to run down and stand upon my post and make society work. And then you are something, but you are not everything. Because everything is all that you are. Follow? So choose the something, choose separation. Choose sustaining the known, choose separation. 
Are you afraid that we are all not one? Maybe the unum does truly not, does, pardon me, does not exist. Maybe it's a big joke. Maybe we're all here living out a matrix of a program that some great master has plugged in and we are all toys for his, hers, or its amusement. Is that what you consider yourself? A program. An endless puppet with no control of your I am. No control of the isness, your free will that you feel you are, that you know you are. You know you are alive. You know you are free will. You know you are eternal love. You do not deny them. You try to because of fear. So are you a puppet on strings? Dancing on the stage of life. Making your way through according to what you think, believe, should be real, according once again to your beliefs. Can you choose the idea that you are your own entity, your own universe, your own individual God, created in the perfect image of the Creator? Do you have the gumption? Hmm? Thrasos. Greek for guts. Do you have the drive to say, wait a minute, this cannot be it. I don't like to dress in these clothes or drive this to work every day. I don't like any of what I'm seeing. But I have to, don't you? You do. You have to do it, don't you? That's what you're validating that you have to do it. <coughs> I don't think you need to, but again, that's my choice. Wow! Another person has a choice against the have-tos. How many of us are choosing that now? Hmm? Are we not choosing our own reality now? Are you not seeing the synchronistic signs throughout the world, through your internet? Hmm? That the reality is shifting to hmm, a point of self-awareness, free will, choice in every moment. Are you seeing that or are you discounting him? Seeing someone speak their own truth and calling him a kook? What is wrong with them? They're going to end up this, this, and this. Oh, no, 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 no. That is you seeing yourself in the mirror of reflection of the choice that you want to make, but you are seeing the fear probabilities that you are creating in your reality, what will happen to you if you do what they are doing, choosing their reality. So now in the mirror of reflection, sorry, reflection, are you not seeing what you're actually choosing for yourself to be a probable reality if you act upon your highest excitement? For that person did not come into your life to show you that another entity, another human, another oneness of the all is actually choosing their own reality, being themselves, seeing the freedom in them, feeling their vibration. As soon as you come into any contact with them, telepathically or visually, you see that, but you're denying your own self. The judgments is what you're giving yourself. Jesus said it, judge ye not lest ye be judged. So in the mirror of reflection, you're exposing yourself to your own fears to your own probable realities that if you sustain fear through energy, energy follows awareness, then that is the reality you would create for yourself and you go, it doesn't work. But your vibration is your choice. Your vibration is always, always, always class. Eternal love. It can be nothing else because that's what you want. So know that, and that should, if you choose, that is a choice, 
should give you at least the idea to entertain that that vibration is energy and what you put out is what you get back. So if your fear is dominating you, give it love. And be the silliness that you are, the happiness that you are. Yes, but, but I need to be this. I need to be that. I can't be that because they will look at me and they will call me this and this and this and this. Again, fears that you create according to the social conscience paradigm that you've all grown to accept as reality. The illusion of 3D. It's a perspective. It is my choice my free individual choice to give you these words at these times for hmm, a perspective, an idea of another entity being themselves in their highest truth at this moment to offer you a catalyst, a catalyst of maybe or no way. In observation, if you say no way, now that you're going to hear this word, you will see it all the time. In observation of seeing no way, aren't you limiting yourself? Because when you see something for the first time in your life, you always try to say, how does that work? How does that work? How does that work? And you're trying to equate it to your own, to your past, to your experience. And if it doesn't fit, in other words, you can't understand it through your direct experience of knowledge, you discount it. You toss it out. You chalk it up, once again, to coincidence. Choose this, or choose image. The image is a slave. Yes, your image might be sustaining gratitude of joy, of, let's say, hmm, money. But remember, maybe you're the only one in your reality that is feeling that. Hmm. So you are separate, because you want to sustain that so you can feel comfortable. But that comfort is only limited to the time you're here in this incarnation until you de -aminate. And then when you realize the eternal love that you are, boop, you come back and try it again. You do not want to be image. You do not want to be separate. Because you are one. All of you. So look at yourself in observation and see what is sustaining your paradigm of separation of with the collective. The unit, the all. Yes, yes, yes. But you can't be that because they're weird. And if I give them love, they will do this to me. Do you not realize if there was no armies, there would be no wars?